This recipe is for a cream cheese filled apple bundt cake, another good fall recipe. But before I even make the cake, I'm going to make the cream cheese filling that goes in the middle of the cake. Here I have eight ounces of softened cream cheese and a half a stick or a quarter of a cup of softened butter, which go into my mixer. Along with one half cup of sugar. And I want to blend that until they become nice and smooth. And then I'm going to add one egg, two tablespoons of regular flour, and a teaspoon of vanilla extract. That's looking pretty good. I'll add the vanilla. Now I'm going to add the one egg. Okay, I'm going to take it off the mixer. I'm going to scrape down the sides, make sure that everything's getting blended well. I'm even going to scrape down my blade here. And as long as I have it off, I'm going to add the flour, the two tablespoons of flour. And then you can just take this filling and put it aside while you make and bake your cake. And that's our filling. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to transfer this filling to a smaller bowl so I can clean up this big mixer bowl because I'm going to need that to make the cake in. So transfer it over. It doesn't matter if there's a few little lumps in the, in the cream cheese, just as long as you don't have any really big ones, but this is fine. And that's it. I'm gonna put this aside. I'm not even going to refrigerate it and I'm going to clean up my decks and get ready to make my cake. Well, we've made the filling, and now it's time to make the cake. The filling is waiting aside. We don't need that until the cake is done. I'm going to start, it's a very easy recipe because you just, it's kind of like dump everything in. Um, three cups of flour, and in the flour I have a teaspoon of baking soda, uh, two teaspoons of cinnamon, one teaspoon of nutmeg, and about an eighth of a teaspoon of allspice, and just a pinch of salt. We're just gonna dump that all in. Now, usually in cakes, you do the creaming method, but we're doing it this way. Then I have one cup of white sugar, one cup of brown sugar, and I think that's it for the moment. I'm just going to mix those around real quick, just get those blended up. Then what else I have here is three eggs, three quarter cup of canola oil, three quarter cup of regular applesauce, teaspoon of vanilla. Um, I have a cup of very finely chopped uh, pecans, which are going in next. And then I have three cups of chopped up gala apples. Uh, you don't have to use gala, but in this recipe, I would suggest you use a sweeter apple, not a Granny Smith or something like that. Okay, we'll blend those around. I'm gonna add my vanilla. I'm gonna add my oil. I'm gonna add my eggs. So once you get all these things measured up, the rest of the cake is really very easy to make. Okay, I'm gonna take this off and add my apple sauce. And the mixer to give it a ride, get it nicely blended, and then I'll just start putting in my apples. In the meantime, my oven is heating to 350 degrees. 
this is going to bake for over an hour, maybe as much as an hour and 15 or 20 minutes. Very moist cake. Yeah, that looks good. Okay, now get this stuff off to the side. And here is our cream cheese filling that we had before. And then here is my bunt pan. Now, normally what I like to do with a bunt pan is hand grease it and flour it, but I'm going to give it a shot with a spray and just making sure that I get into all the nooks and crannies. Because if you don't, the spray doesn't seem to be working that well today. I might be getting towards the end. I think I just might have enough. This is another thing about the spray. I can feel there's a lot more stuff in here and I'm not getting it out. Get rid of that. And then here's our apple mixture. I'm gonna get this in. We're gonna put approximately two thirds of the mixture in. It's very sticky and thick. A little bit more, I think. All right, and then with my other favorite toolers, you may or may not know, my offset spatula. I love this tool. And I'm kind of bringing this up the sides, pushing it towards the side. So I'm making like a well in the center. You don't want the cream cheese to hit the sides of the pan. You want to keep it as much encased by um, the cake mixture as you possibly can. And then we start spooning that in, into that little well that we made. You can see how later on when the cake is baked and you cut into this and you get this almost like a cheesecake filling. Okay. And now with plops, We'll put the rest of the filling on top. Again, my oven, 350 degrees. Like I said, I will start checking for doneness at about 50 minutes. I know it's gonna take longer. This is just a heavier kind of a cake with a lot of moisture in it. Back to my wonderful little offset. And just kind of cover up as much as you can. You're not going to get it 100%. Okay. And as I like to do when I'm baking something like this, I like to put it on a pan that's lined with foil so that if I if it does, for some reason, go over, I don't have the oven to clean. All right, I'm going to put it in that 350-degree oven. I'll start checking at 50 minutes, and then I'll show you when it comes out. Well, here is our cream cheese-filled apple bundt cake out of the oven. It looks spectacular. Now it's way too warm to even turn it out so we're going to let this sit in the pan put my timer on for 15 minutes we're going to let it cool in the pan after 15 minutes i'm going to turn it out onto the rack and then we're going to let it cool for a couple hours until it's really cool before we make a nice glaze for it here is our cream cheese filled apple bundt cake and i don't know if you can see but i can see it along the edges here where you can see some of the filling and I can see some in the middle um, which you probably cannot see but anyway it has now been cooling for a couple of hours it's, it's perfectly cool so now we're going to make a little bit of an icing for it we're going to make a cinnamon glaze this is two cups of confectioner sugar 
And to that, I'm going to add two teaspoons of cinnamon. Okay. And I'm going to put that on our mixer. Very simple icing, which is not one with a butter. It's just sugar and milk, which I have right here. Just mixing in the cinnamon with the sugar. And now this will take anywhere from three to four tablespoons of milk. So I'm gonna start off with two. See how it goes. It doesn't take much liquid to absorb a lot of confectioner's sugar. And then I'm gonna make my own little piping bag out of a Ziploc freezer bag. Uh, here we go with number three. Try a half. And I'm using a tall glass here, and I'm putting my corner side down into the glass, pulling the top over. And now this makes it really easy for me to hold my bowl and to put this glaze in there, and that's about it. Very simple frosting. Just give it a quick mix. Now get it into my bag. You could make um, any flavor if you wanted to. You can make a a plain vanilla frosting. A good one on this cake would be a caramel based frosting, like a praline. I was going to do that, but I figured I would keep it simple today. Because with the praline, you have to cook the brown sugar and the cream and everything. So, here we go. So we take it out, and now holding the top, give it a couple of twists, and now you have your own little piping bag. But you need to get that tip off of there. Just a little. Hold it this way, you won't have any drips. And then I'm just going to start glazing. And the simplest is just a back and forth ribbon all over the cake. Now, if you wanted to also at this point, you could finally chop some pecans and put them on top while this uh, glaze is still wet because after a while this is going to dry pretty hard and if you tried putting nuts on then they would just bounce off and what's the point it's the fun part i love doing this it's relaxing you could do back and forth squiggles or you could if you didn't want to do this with a bag you could just take a knife or an offset spatula and just spread it over or you could just dump it and let it fall where it may. It's up to you. No one's going to care once they're eating it anyway. Okay. Some leftover. That's okay. So there is our apple bunt cake with a cream cheese center and a cinnamon glaze. It's a really good recipe.